Gosh, look how beautiful this is, man. Alright, what is up everyone? Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. So this is a, uh, so far, really popular game. And as you see, I've been playing a little bit. <laughs> been streaming it. I've been enjoying this game actually a lot. Now, uh, this will be a series. I don't know how long it's going to take because I'm obviously going to probably do my streaming first. Uh, and I got some other games also I'm working on. As you guys know, I got the Spider-Man, I got freaking Metro, I got... Uh, now this game um i got a few other games lined up but yeah busy 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 anyways if you guys want to know about graphics that i'm running on that's the home screen i'll buy it <laughs> but yeah running window for windowed borderless full screen whatever because that's what it is dlss auto you know mb reflex boost v-sync because i have a v-sync g-sync monitor thingy and then just all of these turned off pretty much besides depth of field, but I probably don't really need this. So I'm just going to turn it off, see what happens. See if the FPS is better. In terms of graphics, it's pretty much medium high and low. And I mainly think this is because my CPU is pretty shitty. And I also have a 2080 Ti, and I think the game kind of recommends a 3080 for 1440p. So I'm kind of like in between like multiple settings. So, yeah. But I mean, if you guys got a 2080 Ti graphics card, a 2070 with like, you know, like a 6 core, 8 core processor, like a 7700K or an 8700K, you should be good to go with running these all on a high or even ultra at 1080p, no doubt, especially with the 2080 Ti. But for me, because I'm 1440p and I can't really sacrifice my 1440p to 1080p because it just looks like shit, yeah, this is what I'm doing. So, <laughs> that's what it is. And, uh, hope you guys enjoy the series. Let's get into the character making. So there might be a few lag stutters here and there throughout the whole game. And I do apologize. But it's not consistent. It's just usually, like, in really dense areas like towns or sometimes the starting castle. But, yeah, it's just we're gonna have to deal with it. But because I'm not streaming, the, the FPS should be a little bit better. I would think. I kind of want to go with the female again, but I don't know. Kind of, kind of wanting to, but oh yeah, you're the one from the cutscene, huh? No oh, shit. Yeah. Why not? I think she's the one from the dev stream. How do you uh? Skip. Okay. What is this? Glasses. She got freckles. Wait, is there a, um... Is there actually no way of, um, 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 um... Okay. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if I want that. You know what? It's fine. It's whatever. So what kind of face? Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, my bad. Um. Yeah, I'm fine with the hair, honestly. A little bun. We don't need these. Oh, here we go. Freckles. What else we got on here, actually? Oh, are these no freckles? Uh, game? Hello? Oh, they're different. Okay. I was expecting like a shitload of freckles. <laughs> Sweet. Complexion? Oh. Oh, oh, good god. Good god. Okay. Nice. Um. A 
few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Let's just do... Sala. Let's just do this. Hopefully it works, because I don't, I don't know what to name my character. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want to look up a name on the internet. We are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing this totally you worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Vig. I appreciate you working with Hello. me. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Elliot. Oh, of course. Why don't we speak on route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I'm a little confused what he was running from. we go oh yeah it's that guy never mind <laughs> you you'll see him later in the videos I know who he is because I've already gotten pretty far <clears throat> avalanche kid you not that name sounds familiar from a game company like I feel like I've played a game that was made by Avalanche and I don't remember what it's called like for some reason I feel like it's a zombie game school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, He's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. 
nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. My bad. <sighs> what happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a. It was a big dragon. Midair. Typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. <gasps> but that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. <laughs> How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. Somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Dude, we're like so far away. Those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? <laughs> I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however <coughs> faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. 
Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. <laughs> Excellent. Dude, I love this game, man. It's so good. <laughs> the voice acting is really nice. The storyline's actually like really immersive. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Ciao, ciao, ciao. It's improving with every car. Thank you. It's an awesome game. I just wish I could play it with better FPS though. Go over here, get a chest. Gotta get that money. We're close now, it's Stop. just ahead. Like, I'm so impressed with this game, just visually and just like Steady yourself. the atmosphere. You know, like the wind, the freaking mountains, you know, later in the game you'll see the castle. Just, there's so much shit in this game, it's nuts. I'm just really, really impressed with this game. Like, it, it just feels like a game that's alive. But, like, almost there. I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be? Block? What's this, Professor Fig? How odd! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. <laughs> like how freaking trippy is that, dude? I don't believe it. You like the world like flipped around. This level of detail is just absolutely just nuts in this Hello? game. Like well done to the people who made this, man. A moment. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. Hmm? Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. 
This way, then. Stay close. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> God, this is gonna be fucking nuts, man. This roller coaster ride. <laughs> oh, this shit's so fucking pretty too. Hundreds. It's so well done. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number Twelve. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both. Could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, <laughs> have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. He seems like one of the evil ones, too. Yeah. He's got that red glow on his arm. You learn about that stuff a little bit later in the game. But now that I'm seeing this again, he he looks like he's one of the evil ones because he's got the red eyes as well. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there. Yeah, see anymore. right there, people don't go there anymore. So it's almost like he's actually like doing something bad. Kinda curious if we'll actually see him later in the game. Here we are. When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. God damn it, game. There's gotta be a way to get that fucking chest. <laughs> like, is it not possible? Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Like, why is there a chest there if you can't get it? There we go. <laughs> I think I got that chest last time. I don't remember. What do you suppose we should be My looking bad. for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Bye-bye. Wait! Thank you, Mark. Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Closer and try again. A door. 
Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. There is a chest in here or two. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. But on the floor. Revelio. Might be in the next part. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. Just... That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floors. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. No! Professor? Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This there's one of the chests. I feel like there's one more, but I don't remember. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. That must be the other one, I guess. Can I grab this one?
There's probably more chests in here, but it, <laughs> it's definitely going to take a little bit of time of uh, running around casting your ability. I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> There's two chests in here as well. That's trippy. Follow my lead. on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies Oh, wow. Them. We've done all that we can. So he must be one of the most powerful, like, magicians. Like, one of the most, not magicians, but like one of the most powerful, like, spellcasters. you're seeing the glow that surrounded them yes sir astonishing can i see magic traces of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that miriam had always believed existed but could never miriam and perhaps george died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all rather different than it did a moment ago. Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the... I have no patience for traitors. Now... 
Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> A big boy. Oh, these portals are so weird. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. God, look how beautiful this is, man. You know, you know. I kind of hope there's DLCs for this game. Make this game even bigger and just more things to do. It'd be really cool. This game could definitely, definitely succeed with even more content and just DLCs and stuff. Study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? <laughs> to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. 
I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. God, just look how gorgeous this is, man. Oh. All this game needs is a little bit of performance boost, so there's no FPS problems. Oh. Ah, yes. A bit older than Just needs a little optimization. Aren't you? you come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. I don't really know what to choose, actually. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. Because I have a, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just go well. with, hmm. yeah, maybe I'll just you go with the one that my other character has. easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. <laughs> this fucking hat, man. Excuse me. Wait a second. Wait, I thought you're supposed to choose uh, two different lines. Also, oh, there is four factions. Quick to learn. Those intelligence, creativity, and wit, cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. You belong in. Yeah, so these are the two Raven that I'm in on my Cole. other two characters. I'm gonna try Ravenclaw. Intelligence, creativity, and wit. See what see what this is about. That's cool. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury oh, FPS, the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough what the hell is that? Corn on the cob with candy or something? And flying all together. What the hell was that? <laughs> don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw Common Room. You must solve a riddle. I like her chess piece. Her, uh. Won't be of much help, I don't even know what the fuck you want to call it. Her, like, blouse chess piece. Her coat. <laughs> Looks really cool. It's got designs on it. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? Ghost or a poltergeist? Jesus. Hmm. A non being can never have been. Well, 
done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. The fuck? Dude, that's a that's a big ass eagle. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelia. Jesus. <laughs> 